And welcome po sa ating araw-araw na pagpapala sa ating Panginoon. Indeed, this is our daily blessing, our daily bread. And we are just so grateful to God because, you know, the Lord is good and He is always there for us. Before we go on, let's pray. Pray with me, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful for this day. Thank you for the favor in store for your people. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the mercy. Lord, the overflow of your love surrounding us, embracing us as with a shield. And Lord, we thank you for all the people, O oh God, who will be hearing your word. Lord, open our hearts, open our understanding, our spirit to receive from you. And just we, we just thank you, Lord God, as we sit at the feet of Jesus today. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So today we will be focusing on the blessing of our well-being. Let's talk about healing today. Tamang-tama po ang topic na ito, especially we are in a global pandemic. We're in the involvement of sickness and this um, deadly uh, coronavirus is concerned. No, This has been prevailing, uh, especially in our land for, you know, since March when we were placed under quarantine. And you know, up to this time, no, naka GCQ po ang Metro Manila and to some uh, parts of the Philippines, uh, mas stricter pa ang quarantine. And you know, everyone is really, you know, on their toes, no, um, guarding and, you know, being careful because of the threat of this disease, this deadly disease. And since we know that health is wealth, we are just so grateful that, you know, even the Bible is dealing with the issue of our health or our well-being. You know, um, as I have shared previously, you know, that, you know, the Lord wants us to be prospered materially, you know, spiritually, but most especially in our health. Alright, so, kahit gano po tayo, you know, kayaman or gano po tayo uh, okay ang paligid, you know, but we are, when we are deprived of our health and our well-being, this will really cause so much strain in our lives. No, magkakaroon din po tayo ng pressure, and you know we cannot really enjoy life. No, marami pang mga tao, even if they are so much of wealth, no, marami po silang resources. But whenever they are sick, they are always deprived of you know the fullness of joy. And hindi nila ma-explore, no, hindi nila ma-appreciate ang kabutihan o kagandahan ng ng mundo ng kanilang buhay because of uh, you know, the presence of sickness around or even in their bodies. So today, you know, God is speaking to us. Are you sick in your body? Is there anything in your body that is not well? Is there something dysfunctional inside of you? You know, this word is for us. God is sending His word to heal. And I'd like to read with you Psalms 30 verse 2 in the New King James Version. It says in this very, very simple scripture, O Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. You know, the psalmist says that when he cried out to God, Oh Lord, my God, establishing his relationship, God, you are my God and I am crying to you, my God. And you know, when he is asking for healing, what did the scripture says? And you healed me. God healed the psalmist. God will heal us as well as we cry out to God, Oh Lord, my God, heal me. So is any one of us sick? Let's just cry out to God this morning, Lord, heal me. Lord, I apply the blood of Jesus in my life. I apply your precious word, Lord, that by the stripes of Jesus, I cried, Lord, heal me, heal me, Lord, and the Lord will indeed heal us. And you know, when God heals, He heals complete. Ang Panginoon po, pag nagpapagaling siya, kompleto po ang kagalingan ng ating Panginoon. You know, in the Bible, you know, it says there are a lot of testaments of the people whom the Lord, when He walks here on earth, got healed when the, when the Lord Jesus ministered to them. You know, there are accounts of, you know, the blind man. Nang nagpagaling po ang Panginoon dun sa bulag, hindi naman po kalahating mata lang ang pinagaling. You know, the Lord healed complete. He healed both the eyes, no? Pag nagpagaling po ang Panginoon ng mga bingi, hindi po kalahating tenga lang ang pinagaling. Tama po ba? Pareho ang tengang pinagaling o binuksan ng Panginoon. When the Lord healed a paralytic or yung mga lumpo, you know, hindi po isang paa ang pinagaling. The Lord He 
field complete. Nakatayo sila, nakalakad sila, both legs. No, they were able to run to and fro and even give thanks to the Lord. Nakabalik pa sila sa Panginoon para magpasalamat. So God is also saying to us that when we cry to God, Oh Lord my God, heal me. You know, God will heal us indeed and He will heal us completely. Praise the Lord for that! Amen. So, alam niyo po, marami po sa ating mga kababayan ngayon, probably, you know, you're one of these person who are, who are experiencing some sickness in your body. There are irregularities in there. You know, you just trust in the Word of God. Cry out to God. After this broadcast, even mama yapo, when, when I lead you into prayer, you know, just cry out to God. Lord, heal me. Pagalingin mo ako, Panginoon. And you know, the Bible is assuring us that God will indeed answer. He will heal us. Amen. What an assurance and the joy of our salvation, even the healing is coming from our God. Do you know the, the word healing in the scripture? It says there, you know, ang translation po nito is sozo. Okay? And when you look in this scripture, or yung, yung, if you, you know, study it more deeply, this word sozo, it means save. He will save. When, when, the, when the scripture says, He will heal, God will heal, the Lord heal, Sozo. It means He will save. He will deliver you. Okay? And when we talk about deliverance, I mean, you're probably in, you know, in a confinement or a restriction or you're, you're probably imprisoned in, in a sickness or a condition. When God says He will deliver you, He will take you out from that situation. Sozo means to heal as well. You know, you, you know plain and simple word the healing that, you know, when you're, when you're sick, God will really give you the healing. He will provide no, a supernatural medication touching your life today with that supernatural power of God to heal you by the stripes of Jesus. Amen. And then so also, also means we will or He will. We, we too, no? as the Lord heals, we will recover. We will be recovered. Amen. So when, we, when we're sick, it's not just, you know, uh, the Lord healing us, period. Okay? No, when, when we are touched by the healing power of God, when He heals us, He will also, uh, you know, not just deliver us, but, you know, He will help us recover. And to recover means to go back to your original healthy well-being. Amen. So look at that, the richness of the promises of God as far as healing is concerned. And then the first and the fifth and the last uh, meaning of the word healing is that He will restore. Okay, so we are saved, we are delivered, we are healed, we are recovered, and we will be restored. Amen. So, you know, I pray today that when you look in this scripture and you put it in your heart, put your faith in it. If you're sick in your body, may the Lord God, the Lord who authors the healing, heals you indeed. Amen. May I remind you that the Lord is never the author of sickness. Hindi po galing sa ating Panginoon ang sakit. You know, although we have that old notion, you know, yung mga lumang ng kaisipan ng mga tao that, you know, they are probably grateful if they are sick because they will always claim, you know, Pastor, when I got sick, I got nearer to God. <laughs> you know, if, if that is so, probably you will be asking for more uh, sickness in your body so that you will get more nearer and nearer to God. But, you know, that is not really what the scripture is telling us. No, God is the author of a healing. He wants you restored. He wants you physically well as well as in your spirit and in the material things that you are benefiting uh, from God. You know, this is what the, the total package of the scripture is saying to us. And God wants us to be healed in our physical body. Ang ganda pong topic ngayon when we talk about healing. Kasi you know, even I as a pastor, every time I, I open my, my Facebook or my messenger, my text messages, I will always, always, always find people there asking for prayers about healing. If not for themselves, for their loved ones, for their friends, yung mga relatives nila, ang dami po talagang nagkakasakit at may sakit. And it is only by the grace of God that we as a people or as a children of God can really experience the grace and the power of God, God's healing. Meron pong tatlong pinag, pinagmumula ng sakit. And if, if, am I, if I may just run it down to you today, the first thing of course is 
sin. I can read it in Micah 6.13, kayo na lang po ang magbasa niyan, na, which covers yung generation curse. No? Parami pong nagkakasakit, you know, brought about by the curse of their generation, yung mga nasalin na mga sakit-sakit sa ating pamilya. And, and probably parang you're, you're like a sitting duck, no? wala kang choice kasi may nana mo yan. But no, meron kang choice. Today, the Word of God is speaking to you when you cry out to God. The Lord, Lord my God, heal me. He will heal you. Amen. Makawala tayo sa mga minana nating sakit. Pag po natin i-enjoy yan sa ating katawan, na, yung, yung tatay ko, yung nanay ko, yung lola ko, yung, yung lola, mga ninuno namin, namin ganito ang sakit, Pastor. Most probably, I'll get this. But no, say no to sickness. That is not from God. And say yes to your healing, to your deliverance, to your recovery, to your um, restoration. As far as your well-being is concerned, the second source of sickness is, of course, yung total disregard of yourself. No, pag hindi rin po tayo nagiingat, lalo na ngayon, we know that the virus is just around. Okay, it is wrong for us to say, "Ay, walang virus." You know, some of us are, you know, hyper fainting. You know, na ah, wala, walang walang sakit. No, meron po may mga virus po talaga. That is so true. But because of the grace. Because of the covering, because of the mercy and the favor of God surrounding us as with the shield, eh talaga pong pribilehyo natin ang pag-iingat ng ating Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. That's why hindi tayo nagkakasakit. Pero it doesn't mean, you know, that we will provoke, no, the evil around us. No, ah, ganun, ha? Hindi pala ako magkakasakit, Pastor. So, I'm not gonna wear this. Hindi ako magbumas. No, I'll just go to and expose myself elsewhere dito sa may mga sakit. And when you do that, magkakasakit ka nga. That's a total disregard of your well-being. May wisdom din po tayo galing sa Panginoon. And you know, alam natin na kahit meron tayong Diyos na nakaprotekta sa atin, the blood of Jesus is with us no, and is upon us. Mag-iingat din po tayo. No? Hindi rin tayo nagkakompromiso. Kasi alam natin na may kaaway talaga. And the third, you know, the third cause of sickness is, you know, demonic oppression. Meron talaga mga demonyo na naglalahid sa'yo o nagpapadala sa'yo ng sakit. Okay? And alam po natin na sa pamamagitan ng makapangyarihang dugo, salita, at presensya ng ating Panginoon, hindi po tatagal yan sa atin. Amen. So if you'll all, always, uh, you know, soak with the Word of God, the Holy Spirit operating and is ever active in our lives, hindi po talaga makakalapit sa atin ang sakit. Amen. So this morning, <clears throat> I am so happy and I'm so privileged to be speaking to you today about this Word of God. And, and if any of you are sick right now, kung meron pong may sakit sa inyo, let's pray together. Or kung hindi naman po kayo may sakit, remember somebody, a friend, a loved one, a family who is sick, and just stand in the prayer line with them as we pray this um, prayer today. Okay, so let's pray. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ in our lives today. And Lord, we stand in the authority of Jesus as your children, O oh God. Father, we command every sickness in our body and even to those whom we're interceding today, we bind this spirit of sickness in the name of Jesus and we command this oppressing disease, this oppressing spirit of sickness to leave this body in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we take authority over our body right now as we apply the precious blood of Jesus Christ upon our lives and upon our bodies affected by any illness in the name of Jesus. Father, your word is true and your blood is powerful than anything, O oh God. And with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we establish, we claim, O oh God, and we declare we are healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive it, O oh God. We receive it by faith, O oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that there is no distance in prayers. Your hand is not short to reach out those who are crying for help, those who are crying for healing, O oh God. As you said in your word that those who call on the name of your son, Jesus, they will be saved. We call upon you, Jesus, 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 heal us, O oh God. And we receive this healing. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Let the power of God touch you 
heal you, deliver, save you, restore you right now in the name of Jesus. God bless you and hope to see you soon. Amen. Bye!